Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are continuing on with our Ninjago Gardens build. We're up to part five here. And that just kind of designates how big this is. We just finished building the museum and we are up to bag number 16 out of number 26 bags. So still got a fair way to go, which is exciting. Now, first minifigure, minifigure in each of these bags. This one is, I don't think this particular minifigure, I think this is just a random, random lady number one wandering around Ninjago Gardens. Gardens, she's holding a pretzel. She's gonna hang over here with Masako, with Lloyd's mum, and we are gonna build over here. And this part of the build, well, this part of, but no, hold on, we're all, I don't even know what I'm saying, and we barely even started. This is a teeny tiny apartment. It's packed full of stuff. So we've got little paint pots under that black bench, and we'll have a look at that a bit closer when we turn it around in a moment, but this is the way I need to be facing to follow the instructions and make sure that I don't put things on in the wrong spot, because I can't do it facing the other way to the instructions because I am that person who is directionally challenged. I've just missed a bit out there. There we go. And now that fits nicely. Now, this is very, very cool. Look, this nice rounded piece makes a TV, like an old-fashioned kind of TV with an aerial. Uh, I think that's Ninjago News. Obviously, nothing is nothing good is being reported because there's a lot of angst going on on that reporter's face. Got a green door. Green door. Uh, and there's another green door. And... They go, uh, yeah, opposite each other and they're going to smash into each other if somebody tries to enter both doors at the same time. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. So two entries or exits to this teeny tiny apartment. And what do we got here? The looks like, is that a remote for the No. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. Actually, that's on the outside. Is it the doorbell? Like it's an intercommy kind of thing for the, for the apartment, I think. So a doorbelly intercommy thing. Such great descriptors. Okay, lots of green, lots of shades of green. Look how small this space is. It's so tiny. A little gray arch there for the walkway outside. And this, this is really, really cool. We are actually building a detachable wall. So like a blowout wall or a pop out wall. I'm sure it has a proper term, but I can't think what it is right now. And these tiles on the front here are making a, a great kind of patchwork of brickwork colors. <laughs> I'm <laughs> having trouble with words today. I think that made sense. This is the window. So this actually goes in here. This is, these are some really interesting building techniques happening right now. Oh, it's exciting. And so this is the outside and this is really cool. This is like the skirt from Poppy, the trolls like skirt. And it's being used as a window box or a little like, you know, a window box, a window box, a window. <sighs> window box. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying window box and hope it sounds better. This is even more interesting. Like the epaulette kind of things that you put over your shoulders on a minifigure. It's also being used to hold some greenery in as a little display display thingy inside the window. A tiny lamp above the window and then this goes on those outward facing studs at the back here and it pops out so easily. Isn't that amazing? That is such a clever and exciting design. Now, on the front, we actually need to fit some more things into this apartment before we build another wall. So we have three of these black bits with the claw on them. One goes inside and two of them go out here. It's not a lot of room inside, but this also goes here just by the door as an umbrella holder. Isn't that amazing? I'm easily amazed, but it is. It is very amazing. I'm 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 sticking with that. This is a telescope which is out here next to the front door. That's cool. And also to fit inside on that little hook, remember that there are paint pots under the bed. We actually need a painting for, for the paint pots. There's obviously a painter's apartment, and the painter is painting a picture, gosh, a lot of peas, of Ninjago Gardens. And now we cannot see that again. This like this is the pokiest little apartment. And you're not gonna be able to I don't even know if you can I'm sure you must be able to fit a minifigure in there. I'll try that later. But this is not a set really for playing with. I think the joy for this is actually building it because you build a lot of the interesting things in and then they're not really very accessible again. But it is so awesome to build, it really is so, so amazing. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I'm easily amazed, it really is. Now, here we have got another wall, just like we had on the other side. It's all going together in exactly the same way, except I almost forgot how to put it together there. And do we get another plant? Yes, oh, we get another little planter here, a pot planter. No, plant potter. <laughs> and on the inside, that's like the pineapple again. The pineapple, the dots pineapple. 
displayed on the shelf inside. So these two blow out. So these two walls actually pop off so you can kind of access in here. Right, we need to head back over to the museum and we need to make railings because at the moment it's, you know, just an accident waiting to happen. So railings being lined up along here. And this is so interesting. Using handcuffs as the, the, uh, the wire. No, chains. Chains is the word I'm looking for. And some big long barriers maybe? Uh, yeah, okay, so they go on the top. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> that is, that is, that is, I'm going to say amazing again. Man, I really do need a thesaurus. This is cool too. Look, it's either cool or amazing in my book. <laughs> it's all of those things. These are more little planters. Just going to stick with planters. And they clip onto our railings here. And then, yeah, they're supposed to flip up. <gasps> That's that is great. <laughs> See, it wasn't amazing after all. So this level, I think, is pretty much done yeah look how small that little apartment is look at how much room there isn't in there isn't in there <laughs> let's uh let's bring back the gardens and let's put this on up the top and hope that i've put everything together properly so it will actually fit so let me see okay if that goes on it doesn't it doesn't seem to actually clip onto it okay there's no jumper studs on the ones below it's just supposed to sit on there Ooh, okay that looks incredible. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, we're not done yet though, but we're very, very far from done. We're up to the next bag. Let's just have a look at everything as we've got it so far though. We've gone, we've gone so far already and there's still so much to do. We're up to bag number 17 and I saw purple and we get another ninja. So this is the red dude. This is Kai. I hope that's right. Uh, d you know, don't quote me on the Ninjago lore. Don't, <laughs> don't kill me too hard in the comments. You know that I don't really know all this stuff. I've watched the series. I just don't remember all of it. Uh, but I did enjoy it. I do enjoy the Ninjago series. So this guy, he's got his, he's got his sword. He's got his sword in the back. And he's ready. Uh, now, what do we build now? I don't know. It's obviously going to be another building to pile on top of our previous buildings that we've already made. But I don't know what the building is, what the little room is going to be. But I do love the fact that all of these are angled, so they're not just a rectangular room. And this means I need to build my apartment, no, lift my apartment building game and give them some different angles and shapes. But I, I'm, I'm a bit terrified by that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know that I'm at that level yet. So we've got some nice smooth tiling happening here at the front. In the back, I have no idea what's going on. A lot of these pieces, which are new, they make a fantastic, uh, they make great architecture, like roofing architecture stuff for, oh, that looks, that looks really temple-y, like, uh, like Chinese temple-y things. I think I've definitely done something wrong here. That doesn't fit. Uh, oh, all of these are one, yeah, one stud too far forward. So move everything back and now it fits. Good thing you discover that at this stage, not later. Interesting. Okay, we've got a nice empty cupboard happening back there. It's not a cupboard. It is, it's going to have, this is the door. It's a safe. That fits so beautifully. I would never have thought to do that. And it's holding this precious, precious cheese slice in turquoise. Yeah, turquoise cheese is special, people. You gotta put it in the safe. I do not know what that actually is in Ninjago Land. But for me, it will always be a slice of tur turquoise cheese, which is magical and amazing. This goes on the front. And now we need to make a whole heap of these. Well, four of them. And then we have to do the same thing for the other side. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be, it looks kind of temple -y to me. It doesn't look like it's going to be another room. These go on the bottom. That's going to make sure that we actually pop it on top of the other thing, the, the, the room below correctly. And now I do love the purple. It's so pretty. It just breaks up all that brown. That's the cutest little table design ever. It's just got a little bit of green in the middle in a pot. Now we've got windows on either side. This is definitely not an apartment. It's way too small. It's just got one little focal table in it and some really beautiful purple, yeah, temple -y walls. That's 
Gorgeous. All right, what are we doing up the top? Up the top, we're making some more angled roofy bits and it's all going on black. So I'm going to guess we're going to be making some more awnings and the awnings going to be black and they're going to be made entirely differently again. There are places up here to hide stuff though. So we have a helmet hidden up here and two tan dark tan colored skates, roller skates, which I think is a new color for those roller skates. I do not know what that's all about. I'm just going to assume that because Kai came in this, they're Kai's things. <laughs> and he stashed them up here. I don't really know though. I have no idea. But this is where our awning's going to go. And what are we making our awning out of? Our roofing? It is made out of black chest lids. That's... <laughs> that is epic. My goodness. Right, so it is a little temple. That looks beautiful. And there's a safe hidden underneath. So many cute things happening in here. Right, let's put this... Let's go up here, up, up, and this goes on top of the little apartment. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're up to bag number 18. Right, another minifigure. This guy's got dirty pants, so he needs more washing. Okay, so this is obviously, this is Cole, and he's in his cash gear. He's in Mufti, and he also gets a, a controller accessory. And he gets an entire room. This next room is all for Cole. It's going to be his gaming room. So he's going to sit over here and stare at the Zen garden while we get his his apartment. I assume it's his apartment already, but it's full of gamer stuff, which is cool. And the colors are interesting. These are not colors that I ever think of putting together. There's lots of gray. I, I assume for kind of the traditional old world look of an, of the uh, of the style. But then we're breaking it up with the really bright colors, which I love. Spectacles. The spectacle pieces from the uh, from the the the, the brickheads. As a fence, or or as an awningy kind. No, it's not an awning. A fence. Let's just go with a fence. Okay, I have no idea how this is all going in yet. Some more tiling going on, which I once again I've put in the wrong spot, but I fixed it. Yay! There's a gear. Why do we have a gear? We'll find out as we go along. So, uh, outward facing starts to make. Ooh, ooh, ooh! To make the wall go sideways with the translucent pink pieces to break up all that grey. Bit of purple happening in there. Oh. This is exciting. <laughs> and no idea. Oh, okay. This is a movie poster. So movie poster right outside his room. So advertis this was the advertising. There were movie post <laughs> words. Ah, there were movie posters in the Ninjago City too. And this is a, well, this is so you can get up and down, but it also blocks off that wall. No, it blocks off the door. It doesn't block off the wall at all. Right. Some, some paint rollers for lights. And am I facing these right way? So they're supposed to face down. I would have imagined that they're supposed to face up to actually light the movie poster. But yeah, there were movie posters in Ninjago City. So it's nice to have this coming, coming back in here too. Here is, yeah, here's Cole and all of his friends in a picture up here. This might be the apartment where they all hang out and game together. And here we've got the game that he's playing on the telly. That's a really cute little angled TV stand too. And here's his gaming chair. So there's only room in here for one gamer at a time. Well, there's only one chair. The rest can can bunch in if they want to, but they're gonna have to crowd in. So let's sit Cole in here. That looks fantastic. Ah, and a hat stand. And on the hat stand, we've got a little stud in here to make it hold a beanie, a Cole beanie for when he's cold. <laughs> what else are we fitting in here? Err. Uh, it's a tap. It's another telescope. How come everyone? That's like the second telescope that we built this build. Two telescopes. Everyone's got telescopes so that they can keep an eye out for trouble in Ninjago City. Okay. Big archway entering so we can get into his apartment. And now we're just smoothing over the top. So we're pretty, we're pretty much done here. Some more spectacles to make these open areas not quite so open. They had such a great texture though. And the little... Uh, the little turquoise single single tile on there it looks amazing. Just breaks it all up. These are going to help us position this correctly up when we install it. Now, I don't know how we're fitting anything else into Cole's apartment. This is just packed with lots and lots of colour. This is a ninja. There's a ninja picture on here. Well, trans transparent yeah, stickers, so means that we need to actually squish all the bubbles out. This goes in here. And 
This is a printed piece with a little ninja jumping on it. Oh my gosh. It's an arcade pod. Or a miniature version of the arcade pods that Ninjago has actually released as Ninjago sets. Oh, and this is the joystick, the controller. <laughs> okay, let's continue with this and then we're going to see how it works. So this goes on the bottom and we have a matching one for the other side with the ninja. So we've got... Oh, that looks really great. <gasps> Look at that! It actually makes him bounce up and down. That's why we have the rubbery bit. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. It's amazing, people. I'm going to just call it as it is. It is. So this goes in here installed in the back of the room. It's easily poppable out of all. Because <laughs> that's not words. Oh, that's so cool. It's going to be really hard to access in there, but it's cool. Okay, some Mario Kart feet. Feet? Feet? Footses? Some orange ones anyway. They're feet and it's nerds. And the eyeballs. What are we building here? Got a pin here, a, a technique pin, and some more little features in orange facing each other. Some handlebars with some orange foliage. And put it all together, and it makes a prawn. A shrimpy prawn thing. That's his tail. So he's got a massive prawn. <laughs> a massive prawn hanging out outside his apartment. Let's hope it doesn't stay in the sun too long, otherwise it'll get stinky. That looks so good though. Oh my gosh, there is so much detail packed into that. Right, installing this up here on the other side on top of the museum and look at that. We can actually wind that down. Let's put random pretzel lady. Let's attach that, attach her to, <laughs> to the ladder. They can go up and down. Wow, okay, bag number 19. I don't, I have no idea what we're doing with bag number 19. Are we filling that space in the middle? We have to extend this big tree in the middle too, because I mean, it is a garden after all. We're not seeing a lot of gardeny elements apart from the big tree and the gorgeous Zen garden at the back. Uh, I like the fact there's a little temple at the top though. That, that kind of ties in with the rest of the gardeny, zeny kind of theme. But anyway, let's see what bag number 19 holds. It holds some blue pants and a blue ninja outfit, which I assume is going to be Jay. I've already seen Jay though. Oh no, hold on. Jay's head has gone awry. So this is not Jay. This is just Jay's outfit. So this is because he's currently in, in his cash gear. And, and yeah, so this is... This is obviously going to be where he, obviously, I keep saying obviously as though it's obvious, but I'm going to assume that this is where we store his outfit because it comes in this bag and we're building a little room. I don't know what the, what, <laughs> what the, what is going on with this room though? So got a lot of gray and two big dory bits, but they don't have doors. They are now blocked over with some lattice work. Okay. So no accessing here, except in via the top. So it's not really a room as such. Well, it is a room. It's just not a usable one. There's a couple of little studs in there. I think that's where we're going to be actually putting, yeah, putting our suit, the ninja suit. But this is more we're kind of blocked off. It's another awning. It's another black awning, this time made out of lattice and some more movie posters. This is like big metal jaws. And this one is a Jurassic Park, obviously. And they actually get stored in here behind the railingy things. So you can swap out your movie posters once again, just like you could do in Ninjago City. And the, this is where they're stored up here. This is like the storage part of Ninjago Gardens where you store your ninja suit and your movie posters. Okay, it's become quite pointy on the top and I don't think it's going to be well, I mean, obviously it's going to be staying like that, but I don't think that that is. It's finished. Oh, hold on. Yes, it is. All right. So we're installing this. So I was very wrong. Installing this up here. And we've got this interesting pointy bit, a lovely new black awning. We can change our movie poster out to Jaws, which is a good choice, I think. And my gosh. All right. We're up to bags. Bags number 20. And I think that this is a good place to actually leave this for now. Because there's still more to do. There's so much more to do, which I'm going to be so sad when this is finished. But we're not there yet, so I won't be sad. <laughs> I won't be sad yet. I'm so excited to find out what comes next. Because seriously, how many more of these little rooms can we stack on top of each other? It's like a challenge. It's definitely like a Jenga challenge. But made out of Lego, so it sticks together, so it's less worrying. But still, it looks fantastic. Okay, I will see you for part six of Ninjago Garden soon. 
<laughs> so make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you click that notification bell so that way you know when, when it happens. And I'll be back with that really yeah, soon, like I said before. Uh, right, yep. I'll see you then. Okay, bye.